morning students today we'll continue the interesting chapter the blue bead by nora burke let's discuss the objectives first by the end of this session children you will be able to explain the meanings of the difficult words according to the text and children you will be able to explain the text in your own words students before starting this session let us have a look what we have done in our previous session children with her mother by her side cbr did not dare to waste her time looking down at the river yet her imagination took over making her think of the shining water clear air sandy banks where she had played in her childhood so now let's continue today at page number 99 first paragraph and children note down the meanings of the difficult words side by side in those cavelets children cavelets means small caves large enough for a person to enter in those cavelets above the high water mark of the highest flood she had stored some little balls molded molded means shaped of clay while they hardened so children cbia had stored little clay balls to harden in small caves just above the level where the water reached during the highest flood if there were anything that could be used for coloring they would look fine painted with marigold and elephants so children she wished to paint marigold and elephants on those beads child the sharp word the glare of her mother's angry sweating face clear means look the glare of her mother's angry sweaty sweating face pulled cbia back to work and they toiled on toiled means worked hard so children uh, as she was dreaming about her clay balls this annoyed her mother she stared at her angrily and cbia got back to her work now what happened next but at last it was time to go back to see to their animals and the evening meal the loaded loaded means carrying loads of paper grass the loaded women set out to cross the river again cbia hung back she would just dawdle dawdle means take a long time to go a bit and run and see if the little clay cups were still there in the cave waiting to be painted and used so children finally it was time to get back home the women carried their loads and turned to cross the river but cbia chose to stay back and check on her clay balls let's read next although the women were now tired and loaded they still talked those in front yelled yelled means cried out in a loud way to those behind they crossed the river safely and disappeared up to up the track into the trees on the other side even their voices died away died away children voices died away how can a voice die so this is a personification silence fell cbia came down alone to the stepping stone so children um in spite of the fatigue the women they talked they chatted and crossed over the river noisily they reached the bank safely and set off towards their home and suddenly silence set in cbia then came alone towards the stepping stone i hope all are noting down the meanings of difficult words the light of evening was striking up the gorge children what do you mean by gorge it means deep narrow valley pink into the ultraviolet shadows so children uh, as cbia then came alone towards the stepping stone the evening light made the valley appear pink as it disappeared into the shadow with the sun setting now that the sun was off it the water poured almost invisible among the stone with no reflection to show where it began cbia stepped on to the first stone so children um there was no light reflecting on the valley and one could not imagine from which direction water poured along the stones 
So children, see Bia, she stepped on to the first stone. Let us continue. She was heavily weighted, her muscles stretched and aching. The hay folk squeaked, means made a shrill sound. In the packed dry grass and dug into her collarbone so close under the skin. In spite of the sari, bunched up to make a pad. So children, as her muscle ached, Sibia began her journey towards the other bank carrying a huge load. Though she had bunched up her sari, the hay folk from the packed grass hurt her collarbone. When she was halfway over, she put her load down on a big boulder, children boulder means a large rock, to rest and leaned breathing on the folk. Children folk means division of a road. So children, as her collarbone was getting hurt by that hay folk, so hence uh, when she was midway across the stepping stones towards the shallows, she put down the load on a stone to relax. Now what happened next? Let's read. At the same moment, a Gujar woman came down with two gharas. What do you mean by gharas? We have already discussed the meaning. This means, ghara means pots. She came down with two gharas to the water on the other side. In order to get the good clean water, which would quickly fill both the gharas to the top without sand, she walked on to the stepping stone. So children, at that time, Sibia noticed a Gujar woman walk towards the stepping stone from other bank, from the other bank. She carried two gharas and quickly stepped onto the stones to fill the clear water. She was within a yard of the crocodile when he lunged at her. Lunch means attacked at her. So children, she was just a yard away from the crocodile when he suddenly leaped at her. He attacked at her. Let's read next. Up out of the darkling water, heaved. What do you mean by heaved? Heaved means lifted with great effort. Up out of the darkling water, heaved. The great reptile, water slushing of him. His livid means angry, jaws yawning and all his teeth flashing as he slashed at her leg. So children, what happened next? He raised himself out of the dark shadow with water splashing all around. He opened his angry jaws and lashed at her leg. He attacked at her leg. Let's read next. The women screamed, dropped both the brass pots with a clatter on the boulder. From whence? Means where? They bounced to the water and Sibia saw them bob. Bob means bounce. Away in the current. Oh, the two good vessels gone. So children, the Gujar woman yelled out loudly. She dropped both the brass pots and they clashed on the stone before bouncing off into the river. Sibia, she saw two pots float away. Now let's read next. Now let's read. The Gujar woman recoiled. What do you mean by recoil? Jumped back in fear. The Gujar woman recoiled from the crocodile, but his jaws closed on her leg at the same moment as she slipped and fell on the bone breaking stone and clutched one of the timber logs to save herself. So, children, the woman she tried to pull herself away from the crocodile as she slipped on the stone. The crocodile gripped her leg. She held on to a timber log at once to save herself from being dragged by the crocodile. Now, let's read next. The log jammed between two boulders. Now, only we have discussed the meaning of boulders. Yes, what do you mean by boulders? Boulder means a huge stone. With the women. Clinging. Clinging means holding. To it and screaming while the crocodile pulled on her leg thrashing his might might means powerful tail bang bang to and fro in great smacking smacking means hitting flails means strike as he tried to drag her free and carry her off down into the deeps of the pool blood spread everywhere so children this uh, the log was stuck between the two boulders 
Though the crocodile tried hard to drag her into the water, he could not. He moved his tail violently. There was blood all over. Let's continue and I hope all are writing the meanings of the difficult words. Let's read. Sibia sprang. From boulder to boulder, she came leaping like a rock goat. So children, she came leaping like a rock goat. We are using the word like and we are comparing Sibia to a rock goat. So this is, which figure of speech? This is simile. Sometimes it had seemed difficult to cross these stones, especially the big gap in the middle where the river coursed through. Course means make way, like a bulge of glass. Like a bulge of glass, it is again a figure of speech that is simile. River is compared to bulge of glass. So children, Sibia, uh, on seeing this, she sprang towards the women at once. She jumped quickly over the stones. Some stones had big gaps in between with the river water flowing through them. Let's read next. But now she came on wings. She came on wings, children. We are comparing Sibia uh, to a bird having wings. So wings... It is a metaphor. We are not using the word as or like. But now she came on wings, choosing her footing in mid-air without even thinking about it. And in one moment, she was beside the shrieking woman. So children, um, yet the gap did not deter her and she almost flew in air, covering the distance. In an instant, children, she was next to the screaming woman. So children, this is your homework time. What you have to do, do the work given in SNAP homework. This was all about today's session, children. Thank you.